Celebrity Big Brother Day 10 and that was dramatic. This is what Big Brother's all about. This is what Big Brother should be like every single night. Oh, I was loving it. And when they were doing the nominations and everybody was nominating Louis and they were saying, oh, he's lazy, he doesn't clean up and all that. And he was like, oh, that's the easy thing to say. Fern stood up there and she was like, oh, he's lazy. It really grinds my teeth. Like, it really annoys me. She was, like, really getting into it, right? And then when she nominated Ekansu, she was so brutal. And she was like, oh, I think she's acting. I think she's wearing a mask and all that. And I was like, yes, Fern, that's how you face-to-face -face nominate. Keep her in. Just for the nominations. Right, Big Brother is supposed to be dramatic. And it doesn't have to be bitching and fighting all the time, right? But it should be interesting. Big Brother UK always lacks the interest for me. That's why Big Brother Australia blows my mind. Because he's absolutely brutal. He's evil, right? And Big Brother UK, it's just too nice. But tonight, I was like, yes, now we're talking. Ekin Sue stood up there and she's like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this. And I was like, Ferns, right? Like, she's totally acting it. I thought, see, if you can't do face-to-face -face norms, why the fuck are you in Big Brother, right? It's different when you get down to, like, the finale or, like, the semi-final and there's hardly anybody left in the house and you're really close to everybody. I okay, it's got to be difficult to do face-to-face -face nominations, but she's not close to every single person in the house, and she was just totally acting it. What confused me about Marisha's nomination for Ekansu is that she said, if I was in the finale with you, I wouldn't win. You've got a huge following. And I was like, hmm, has she? But she says, you've got a huge following. I wouldn't stand a chance against you because you've played these games before. And I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. She has not played these games before. She's in Big Brother now, okay? Love Island does not even compare to Big Brother. It's not the same whatsoever, right? And she was saying, if I was against you, you would win. But then when Ekin Sue was upset and she was saying, oh, I hope you win. And she was like, oh, I don't want to win. If you don't want to win, then why would you give a fuck if she was going to win in the, in the final against you then? It didn't make any sense to me. That being said, Ekin Sue's reaction made her look like a complete fanny. You know how when people say when somebody's nasty to you, it's got nothing to do with you and it's more about them? That is what Ekin Sue was shown tonight. She is so embarrassed and insecure about being on Love Island that I actually think she needs counselling because she was crying and she was upset and she was saying, oh, people judge me because I was on Love Island because I was on a stupid show. Aye. It's because of that stupid show that you're now on Big Brother. Do you know how many people would love to be on Big Brother? I'm one of them. It's because of that stupid show that she's got brand deals and she's got a makeup collection and all that. Fuck knows how much money she's made. But yeah, all she ever does is talk negative about Love Island and I just don't understand it. Nobody gives a fuck that she was on Love Island. Nobody thinks that it's embarrassing. I certainly don't. There was a guy on Love Island near where I live and he's been on it twice both times he found it really difficult to find somebody both times people were saying oh he's cringe both times he got like near the final and didn't win and he's not even embarrassed about it he goes on TikTok with his mum and he talks about his experience and how it's helped his career and how it's helped him like open a gym or become a personal trainer and make loads of money but Ekin so can only see the negative in this and she genuinely needs to get some help. All that crying and being upset that she was doing was such a redneck. I was like, why is she acting like this? Right? Everybody had to nominate face to face. And she's like, oh, this house is full of two-faced people. She's the one who's so close to Louie. But yet she nominated Louie. So who's the two-faced one? I just, I don't understand her. Then when her and Louie were in the room and he was absolutely loving the drama when Marissa nominated her and then she wouldn't give her a kiss and he's like, oh yes, good for you for sticking up for yourself and I thought, why does she need to stick up for herself though? I don't get it. And she's going, oh, this place is full of two-faced snakes but she had to nominate somebody. She nominated Louie and both of them have been really close in the house and she nominated him but yet that's all right. Like... She was just making it a big deal out of nothing. And then she was like, oh, I'm not going to be a crybaby anymore. And I thought, do you know what? It's it's way past that now. 
you've made such a fucking big deal out of nothing and everybody's laughing at you and they want you gone and you're a shy actress. Coulson nominated Levi because he says he hurt his feelings when he says he was the most boring person in the house and they two fell in. Anybody who nominated Louis, he did not give a fuck, right? But he, he even said that he was shocked when Nikita and Ekansu nominated him because they were really close. But he still didn't greet over it. Fern wasn't moaning. David wasn't moaning. Do you know what I mean? Nobody else who was up for nomination was in the room crying and screaming and making a big deal out of it. And I honestly think that Ekansu is going to have to get counselling. Because the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm just like... In her mind, she's so embarrassed and it's a problem. So there's five people up for nomination and that is David, Louis, Levi, Fern and Ekansu. And just in case you can't tell, I hope Ekansu goes. Fuck knows what's going to happen when she gets evicted through the house and the presenters even think about bringing up Love Island. She's going to fucking throw a hissy fit. But on the Late in Live show, they were saying that two people's going to go. So I think it might be Ekansu... And Louis, even though I would kind of like Louis to stay in. But I suppose Levi could go because he doesn't really do much. One final thing that I would like to talk about before I finish this video is that on the Big Brother TikTok, there was a video of Kelly Osborne, And she was saying that people always say, oh, do your parents embarrass you? And she's like, no, I don't feel embarrassment because you don't know what it was like growing up. And when she used to go on the school bus, her mum used to stand out in the porch and flash everybody. And I was like, an adult woman used to stand out on the porch and flash a bus full of school kids. Like, that's, that's not even funny. And I know it was like the 90s or whatever, right? But that's just not good. Like, imagine she said that about her dad. Do you know what I mean? I used to get the school bus and my dad just used to flash all the kids. Like, that's not funny. And the fact that she can actually go online and say that and nobody thinks anything of it because they're celebrities is is so troublesome to me. Like, I actually like Sharon Osborne, right? But there's, there's no excuse for that kind of behaviour. And the fact that they posted it on the Big Brother... TikTok and they didn't think anything of it and it's just it's a bit worrying let me know in the comments what you thought of tonight's episode I thought it was so dramatic I was loving it and let me know the two people that you're going to be nominating to leave and I'll see you tomorrow